Hey, what's up, nerds? Today, we're going to talk about how Hasbro has been manipulating the magic market for a long time. So here's the deal, and I honestly didn't know this because all the Wizards and Hasbro talk seems to have been centered over the last couple of years. But Hasbro actually purchased Wizards of the Coast way back in 1999. You ready for this? I did my research. And the beautiful thing about the internet is sometimes you can find documents from, you know, news articles and whatnot from decades ago. CNN Money from 1999. Hasbro gets the wizard. Ha ha ha. Published on September 9th in 99. Toy company buying Wizards of the Coast Pokemon card maker for $325 million. Do you see what the focus was? Because at that point, Wizards had the license to print Pokemon cards. And that was a big deal. In fact, this article does not mention Magic the Gathering once. It does mention D&D, but it doesn't mention uh, anything about Magic. By the way, Hasbro stock was 25 and 1 16th in mid-morning trading um, on September 9th of 1999. So I guess we've made some money. I find it interesting that Magic wasn't mentioned at all. But I think magic has been part of their plan for a long time. Do you remember right around about a year before the pandemic hit? Wizards of the Coast abandoned MSRP for magic products. This is part of their long game and part of the shell game and part of the market manipulation I'm talking about. Abandoning that MSRP allowed them to kind of shift the focus from, hey, this isn't what we're charging. This is what your stores are charging. This is what the market tells you something is worth. Meanwhile, they're back at home still setting the price for distributors. So they still control the price. They just don't put it on the box. Well, the official reason, you know, they're saying they're going to streamline the communications around new products. People don't like MSRPs in other countries. So, you know, that's what it's all about. I call bullshit on that. Sealed magic product has become more of a market-driven collectible ever since the abandonment of MSRP. And since it's a market-driven thing, it sounds an awful lot like stocks or other commodities, doesn't it? Can you smell the greed monster? Now, here's the actual market manipulation that's happening right in front of our eyes. And it's related to all of these things. There's no MSRP to be your baseline, right? So, when Lord of the Rings was released and the prices skyrocketed, that was 100% market. This is what people were willing to pay for this stuff. It has been reported elsewhere. I saw it on Rudy's Alpha Investments channel, and if you don't believe Rudy, that's fine. I definitely do. The guy has never steered me astray, and I've been watching him for seven years. But if you believe Rudy, like I do, Wizards of the Coast is sitting on Lord of the Rings draft and set boxes, waiting to resupply the market until after Commander Masters is released. They don't want to distract the public from their shiny new baubles that they're going to sell to us. They don't want those Lord of the Rings prices to drop or the Lord of the Rings product to crowd out some of the Commander Masters, which doesn't look incredibly strong. And the prices are obscene. So, it's dirty. It's market manipulation at its finest. Don't fall for it. You may not believe that magic cards are a commodity or like a stock or a bond or something like that. Magic cards do behave like other investment properties with the market swinging up and down as much as it does. Just look at prices of anything on TCG Player. And this is the way Hasbro has been playing their long game. We just make that MSRP disappear. And then all of a sudden, we control the flow of the product. We control the price in the market. It's so dirty, so dirty. Hey, I lived through the 90s. I still have sealed boxes of football cards that are near worthless. Pennies on the dollars I paid for them back then. I would have done better to buy Hasbro stock. I'm afraid magic is headed that way too. All the new products, all the new stuff, them telling us it's wine, but it's really just water poured down the funnel down our throats. Magic for me has gone from a cherished game and collectible to a mass printed fool's gold. I love collecting this game. The FOMO pull is still strong. I see some really cool looking cards in Commander Masters. But after not touching March of the Machine Afterbirth, I mean Aftermath, I think I'm doing okay. I hope this game survives both as a collectible and a game. But right now, Hasbro is flogging 
<laughs> their prized cow. And I'm worried she's going to stop producing milk. That was a weird metaphor. Anyway, take care. You guys are awesome. I'll talk to you soon.